Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode Ah, oh, it's English. Ooh. Uh I kinda like white haired waifu, I'm not gonna lie. But I'll go white haired boy. My name will be Kaz. Can't change languages. Yeah, that's fine. Registration complete. Nox Down in the bottom right. Oh. Man, you can tell they really went all out on them graphics, can't you? Okay, no voice acting? Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Is it gonna be? <gasps> it's a little elephant! He's got a ladle for a nose. Thanks to the help of these mysterious creatures we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even in our towns. I think that was a Pidove. Yeah, 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 I know. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon, do battle, and compete. We call Pokemon Trainers! Ah, woo, ah! But, I'm getting carried away, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Wow. Really? Is he the professor? He better not be. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for the Champion Leon's exhibition match. Who we got? Oh, it's this guy. I remember seeing this guy. Oh, oh he's got a Charizard. All right. Got to do that Gen 1 pandering. Got to get it in nice and early. Ooh, Ice Boy. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. <gasps> I mean, that does look kind of cool. He is a very chunky boy. Raw. Hey, Pokemon Sword. There we go, that's what we're playing, in case you haven't figured it out yet. I was waiting for it. Oh, it's a Wooloo! I like Wooloo. He's a cutie. Who's our friend? You got a name, bud? Or do I got a name? It's a Munchlax! Can I take him with me? I love Munchlax. He's a cutie. Certified cutie. Oh, there's me with my weird white hair. And white eyes. Ah, uh, I got ripped pants? Ah, uh, come on. Hop. Did your parents not love you? Why are you called Hop? Oh, is that your flash new phone? It is. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? Bet you can't cheer him on with your hands full. Oh, but you can't. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. Oh, God. <laughs> Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yep, that's exactly why I came running over to get him. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Ah. Come with me. You should be here any minute. And he always brings presents when he visits. I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Is it his Wooloo? I want a Wooloo. Certified cutie Wooloo. Okay, let's explore. Uh, comedy dramas. Oh, I bet she watches the fucking Big Bang Theory. Ah, uh, Pokemon neatly aligned up. Much lags. Give him a pat. Oh! Oh, we woke the poor boy up! Poor guy. We got some speed on us this time around. Anything? No? Get some galoshes? No. Can't escape. There is no escape. Oh, this must be my bedroom. Uh, this bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. I like that EV poster. And the Pikachu poster. And that poster. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly! Oh, it's a little bit British! Oh, 
Bangers and mash. Rushing off in that state, Kaz. Didn't hop say you should bring your bag. Last word in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Alright, where's me bag? Oh, is this a bag? You grabbed your dad's old bag. Oh shit, it actually mentioned my dad. Have they done that since Gen 3? Maybe I'll actually get to meet him. Is my dad going to be the bad guy? That'd be cool. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Go figure. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map. You can also check this adventure guide and uh, key item section of your bag. Save. What do we got? Options. Battle style. Yeah, battle effects on. Tech speed fast, baby. Gyroscope. Pokemon camp. Show nicknames, skip movies. Save these settings. Thank you. Town map. Oh, we got a Rotom Dex again, I guess. Slumbering Wield. Slumbering Wield. Ledgehurst. Meetup spot. Okay, whatever. Whoa. It's a chonky ass map. Winden. Ah, definitely not London. Definitely not. What are you? Sir Chester, what are you? Spikemouth. Ooh, I like Spikemouth. Holbury? Ooh, Holbury's alright. Hammerlock. Oh. Okay, there's some good names here. Alright. Let's get crack a lacking. Let me out. Oh, this way. Okay. Hopper's waiting for you. Better head outside. What do you think I'm doing? Got a nice little rose garden. Crappy broken pants. I never understood the ripped pants craze. <gasps> it's a Badoo! Badoo doo! Give him a pat. No? No pats for Badoo doo. Ah, it's more Wooloo! Look at him back there! Wait, where did that second one spawn in from? Alright. Haha, <laughs> have a look at you. That old bag looks like you could. It could pull you over. At least we know it, that it showed anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. There we go. Oh, Wulu won out. A Wulu? But what's it doing there? <laughs> he roll. I'm just gonna... Hey, you silly Wulu, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No, everyone knows that's where there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Meh. <laughs> Stop it! Now that that's taken care of, how about it? Let's race, I bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? He roll! Go! See, look! The, the pop-in is absolutely insane. Uh, is this his house? Maybe? Hello, friend? What you doing? Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Kaz. Hello, dear. Yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed up in a cupboard? He's not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee's hopeless with directions. Make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. Come on, you've got to come with me. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. Okay, okay. Uh, boop, out we go. He had a kitty cat. It's no munchlax, but it's alright. Let's get a move on. Only remember, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, so we'll still clear of the tall crap as we go. It's fine. I only started a little bit. Route one, baby. Kill me. No one route to the tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. I'm not your mate, bud. Okay. So I'm assuming this is where his brother's gonna be. What's over here, though? Ah, crap. It was worth a shot. Alright, Mr. Champion! How do you even get a Charizard here? That didn't get Dexited? Of course it didn't, it's Gen 1. He's definitely a bad guy. Oh, 
God, I hate him. Ah. It's like a Z move, but worse. And he's wearing a cape. What a knob. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I'll pr I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. Our unbeatable champion, Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Just use Stealth Rocks. He's done. Too true, the Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wishes for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Grar. Lee! Up! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Fucking obviously not British. They don't use inches. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Kaz, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm Galar Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. You and you, Kaz. I bet I could beat you both back home. That hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Oh my god, look at all the sponsors! Oh my fucking god. Don't you fret, I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Wiggle the sticks! Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Kaz and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. <gasps> it's gonna be Pokemon. I don't know what they evolve into yet. I've kept myself spoiler free. The only ones I know about are like Yamper and the Weird Crow. <gasps> Grookey, he's a cutie. Saw Bunny, he's a bunny. Sobble! He's a little lizard boy. Ah! Oh. Crookie like tree. Sobble like pond. Score bunny like run. He run. Ah! Oh. He bonk. Oh! It's not very nice of you. Ah! Oh, the berry! And he's a scaredy cat. Oh, Poor little Bobby. Yay! Happy friends. Alright, line up everyone. Which will you choose? What, the brother doesn't get to pick first? That's just not very nice. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. I want Sobble. He's a cutie. That's a water type Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type? Yeah. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. You chose Sobble. Ah, uh, yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay. I've been thinking long and hard about what I'm going to call him. And if he's a boy, I'm going to call him Skipper. He looks like a Skipper to me. Or skip for short. Look at that little high five. I like his little head leaf. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Let me guess. He's gonna go, uh, Grookey. Then I go with Score. He picked the weaker one. What? I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Meh. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Kaz, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. Ah. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but he's strong and real kind too. Oh, that's cute. The champion keeps the other one. All right, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice barbecue. Some nice shishes. Ooh, new Pokemon Center music. The next day, a little fletch into thing. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along? Getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Guys made fast friends with his subble, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Kaz might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing to take on Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah, alright. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those things that I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Then if you're smart, you'll start with Wooloo. Ooh. That's got some funk to it. I like that. Ah, oh, see, look, he's smart. He's leading with the Wooloo. Let's go, Skip. Pokemon Battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. It's cheating. But it's fine. I'm going to absolutely ruin you, child. Ooh. Okay, I don't have a water move. So I'm just going to need to take him to Pound Town. Uh oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm done for. Oh, crit! You absolute fucking sheep. Go for the pound. I do like how we do roll. He do roll. I enjoy the roll. Okay, do it again. Bonk him. Schmack. There we go. Okay, we'll lose done. Is that worth a ding? The XP? It's worth a ding. Okay. Give me a water move. Yeah! How did I know? It's not over yet, I've added another trusty ally to my team. Trainer hops and out Score Bunny. Never mind, you should have led with Score Bunny. Didn't know I'd get a water move. Water gun. Nope. It's super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? I did. Score Bunny, use tackle. Okay, Score Bunny is kind of cute though. Water gun. Shoop. Goodbye, Skull Bunny. It's super effective. Later. You have Pokemon gained to EXP. 55. Damn, already up to level 7. We've only just started. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You won't subtle it too much. You got 400 for winning. Yeah, boy. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let you out Charizard and join in on all the fun. I think that would be a little much, my dude. Good effort out there, Subble. Why don't I get you all sorted? What about your poor brother? Kaz, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I really want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You, join the gym challenge. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. That's really what you need to do. If that's really what you need to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Kaz, before you think about getting gym badges. Best think about getting a Pokedex. Trainers Pokedex help them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there. Including their strengths, but it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of the tra trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokédex is in. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokémon Research Lab for you and me. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokédex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. Probably better go tell your mum that we're heading out, though. Alright, alright. Ma! Crash. Uh-oh. Wooloo got out! 
gates open and the Wooloo that was there. Ah, crap. It was tackling that fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through here, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the info she got from the professor afterwards. Kaz, what do you say? You've got to save it. Right? Even if we're not supposed to do this. This is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in. Alright, let's go, baby. Out of my way. The slumbering wield. It's very foggy. It's very, very foggy. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? Sam tells me if we follow the path, we'll find it. The fog is really coming in thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, we might be in trouble. Oh no. <gasps> uh oh. It's a... <gasps> oh, it's cute! It's Squoet. Oh, he's a cutie. Squawvet. I want one. Absolute cutie. 10 out of 10. Come here. I mean, oh, I don't have any Pokeballs. Right. You shake. Okay. Do I want to Squawvet? I think I do. Squawvet. Whatever. His name's weird. But he's a cutie. So he's alright. Yeah, give me them EXP. I don't care what you got to say. I got a Wooloo to save. Uh oh. What else we got? We got. Oh! Rookity! I love him. Oh, I'm getting a Rookity. 100%. Okay, hopefully one with a better ability than Unnerve, though. Come here. Get wet. Really? He got Peck. Peck's pretty good. I'm into it. Give me the water gun again. Nope. Get out of here. Alright. What the hell is that? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Was that a Wooloo? Didn't sound like a Wooloo. Oh, it's another one of the cute little squirrels. Squab it. Alright, come here. Fight. Water gun. Get him. Splush. It's a lady squab it this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tail whip, I know. Get him again. Fight. Water gun. Shwoop. Later, nerd. Ooh, a crit. Couldn't have got that on the first one? What are you doing? Come on, Skip. We need better from you. Woo! It sounds like a woo. Maybe that is a woo. Woo! Or it might be the legendary. You know, this might be the meet the legendary early thing. Like they had in the anime. Ooh, that's kind of spookums. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get why this place is off limits. Uh-oh. Are we going to get spooked? <gasps> I was right. It is the Lego. Mr. Legendary. What in the... Question mark appeared. Go, Skipper! Water gun. Nope. It's an illusion. The move had no effect. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it? Growl. Skipper used Growl. Raw. The move has no effect? He make fog. Kaz, I can't see anything. You okay? I'm fine. Fight. Pound it out. Skip it. It's gonna make me run. I know it is. The move had no effect. Uh oh. Now he gone, right? 
I can't see anything. Skip. Skip, where are you? Wah! Uh oh. Uh. Oh crap, is our rival dead? <laughs> Hello? Well, I'm unconscious. Nope, I'm up. Okay, he ain't dead. He's fine. Hop, Kaz! What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who heard me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Hey, meh. Little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least that Wooloo's all right, yeah? At least I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, lived in the slumbering world. They're actually just... Actually illusions or something. Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience this will make pretty fine. First page in the fairy tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. She will go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. I like the Britishisms. But anyway, everybody, for now, that is going to be all. I will see you for another episode tomorrow. So for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.